Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom picture frame that uses bridle joints made with a homemade jig. Now this picture frame is made using bridle joints, which is essentially one tenon that slips into an open-ended mortise that is basically cut the same way that the tenon is. So this is all cut on one jig, and this is my homemade bridle joint jig. Um, it essentially has a fence here that you can put your workpiece on to hold it at the angle you want and safely run it over the blade. On the back end, I have some knobs that you can loosen to adjust the angle to cut different types of bridle joints. So this just slips over the fence and I slide it in place and to make it 90 I have a registration pin slot. So I just pop this in there and that should be basically at 90. Let's see. Perfect. So now I can just tighten these knobs down and my jig is set at 90. Now this registration pin is actually part of my hold down clamp. So I just pop this through here and tighten down this knob. Now I can slip my workpiece in here and it acts as a nice hold down so that I don't have to put my hands near the blade or hold the piece in place with my hands. So now you can just move it close to where you're ready to make your cut, lock your fence down, and we're ready to proceed. The artwork I'm framing is a print of a work of Michael Alms. He's another woodworker and painter, and I purchased the print from Ghost Gallery. I'll make sure to link both below. Here I am breaking down the plywood to use on the jig. This first piece will act as the tall fence for the jig. The second piece needs to be cut to match the, the width of the table saw fence so that it can slide back and forth. The jig will be held together using pocket hole screws with no glue. Because I'm assembling this on the table saw, I didn't want to risk it and it just didn't seem necessary. Once all of the holes are drilled, I can start assembling the jig. I need to start by screwing in the short side first because uh, once the long side is on, the short side will be inaccessible. Now I can start putting the bolt holes in the jig. I'm going to start with one and then uh, come back for the rest. I elevated the fence three quarters of an inch so that it could pivot freely. Since I'm using T-bolts to hold the jig together, I'm making some oval shaped recesses for the bolt heads to fit into. Next a quick fit and layout for the next hole. More recesses for bolt heads.
Next I'm making a U-shaped channel for the bolt to slide through so that I can adjust the jig to 45 degrees. Now I can finally assemble the fence and square it up so that I can make a reference point for 90 degree cuts. Here I am drilling a reference pinhole. Uh, so if I ever need to bring this back to a 90 degree and don't want to measure it, then all I have to do is poke a bolt through this hole and that should bring me back to a 90 degree cut. Now the jig is ready to use, so I just need to start milling up some material to make our frame. The material I'm using is some walnut, and if you see, the grain is kind of crazy in this, so it's not really suitable for structural pieces, but it's perfect for a picture frame. Here I am cutting my frame pieces to their final lengths at the table saw. And here's the bridle joint jigs maiden voyage. First I'm cutting the mortises. For a bridle joint you want your blade height to be exactly the same as the width of the piece that you're cutting. And with the mortise cut I now try to size the tenon to match being as conservative as possible so that I don't mess it up.
as you can see here, it does not fit. You need to sneak up on the cut just a little bit more. And here you can see that they now fit together. It is a little bit looser than I would have liked, but with a little bit of glue it will snug up nicely. Now for a dry fit. And here I am trying to flatten out the bottom of the grooves. Apparently my new table saw blade does not actually have a flat tooth grind like I thought it did. And here I am cutting some grooves for the picture to sit in. Because I'm not doing stopped grooves, I'm going to have to fill in some gaps later, uh, but that's accounted for and it should match nicely. And with all of our pieces cut, we can now test to see if the picture fits in the frame. And it's hard to see, but here I am cutting some tiny shims so that we can fill in the gaps in the frame. And with the help of some super glue, I'm basically re thickening up the tenons to their original width. And now for the glue up. Here I am using some soft jaw clamps to press everything into its place. And I double check the squareness because bridle joints can be easy to mess up if you don't get them perfectly square. And now for some sanding and a little bit of gap filling. And now for the finish. This is just a simple homemade hard wax oil blend that I make. And now for a final test fit before I bring it inside. And thanks again to Michael Alm and to Ghost Gallery for all of the inspiration. This was a fun and quick build. Let me know what you'd like to see next.